Nobody's perfect, ay, ay. Before I get to the uh, 2012 Volunteer of the Year winner, I'd like to uh, mention two honourable runners up, Jeremiah Marshall and Scott Nearing. Both have been committed to helping EAU Athletics Department push its brand further into the global community, and for that they deserve our thanks. As you're all aware, EAU took on a new broadcast system to stream multiple events in high quality and from multiple camera angles, something that was a pipe dream just a few years ago. Thanks to this system, most EOU games can be seen anywhere in the world as long as you have a decent internet connection. For example, this event tonight can be seen by your family and friends anywhere in the US. Chris Ware can see it in Sweden if he is up at 5 a.m. in the morning, and I know my family is watching in Sydney, Australia, early on this Thursday afternoon. Though everyone who is involved with this cannot receive an award, there is one person in particular that would give up their Saturday afternoons to help with the football broadcasts. He would don a red hat and stand on the sidelines. His official title, The Red Hat. I know what you're thinking, how original. His job is not as simple as putting on a hat. He had to stand in front of six officials, two sets of coaches, and almost 200 football players and put them in timeout until commercials were finished. As a parent, I can barely get my five-year-old into timeout, let alone coach Cam. <laughs> His contributions as a, to EU as a whole have been invaluable for many years as a director, as a faculty member, and as an EU athletic supporter. It doesn't hurt to be a top bloke as well. Good guy. So everyone get a round of applause. He's a gentleman, he is a scholar. He's a man who wears a red hat. He is Dr. Mike Danels. Thank you.